प्रोसिक्यूटिक्स इन जेल and uh, if she and kill herself when she doesn't commit suicide so thereby he has used the color of his office in the present case even if it is it is even if it is uh, even if it is accepted as a gospel truth still the question that needs consideration would be whether you can rely upon section 114a your uh, your lordship prima facie a case under section 376 2a would uh would attract 114a of the indian evidence act there would be a presumption in the favor of uh, the prosecution and thereby the accused would have to be uh, would have to prove that rape has not been committed that was the prima facie contention uh, your lordships as regard to proving punishment under section 376 2a 1 uh, being a pol- whoever being a police officer commits rape within the limits of police station to which such police officer is appointed yeah uh read again section 114a uh, uh, yes sir yes yes uh, he <clears throat> we we may accept your submission we may agree with you please show us that this act was done by him while discharging his uh, official duties as a police officer in that police station uh, you know it is a case of a prosecution you know the case of a prosecution that he was a police officer uh, if your lordship hmm. not by discharge because uh, your ladies of your lordship if a police officer uses the color of his office he was not discharging his official duty but he was threatening to use his post uh, as regards to this there is a case that has not been submitted chandrakant prithal pawar versus state of maharashtra in this case what had happened was a police officer not known to the person uh, who is the prosec- uh, prosecutrix in the present case he was uh, going going in a direction not wearing any uniform and not to the knowledge of the prosecutrix that he was a police officer he uh, he uh, sir, talked with a woman who was a beggar at 7 pm at 11 pm he forced and took her to a place to so fact that totally different okay please what we have asked you shows the facts of your case uh if your whatsapp could refer to the fi basic basic ingredients of section 3762 clause a b c d are laid out uh your whatsapp uh, it is it is a fact that the uh, prosecutrix was within the jurisdiction of the arjun das police station thereby she registered a fir there is there any act was committed in the uh, uh, case or uh, your uh, your lordship it is not compulsory not the case of a prosecution even it is not your case if it is your case you show to us uh it is not the case that the act was committed within the police station but section 376 2a1 does not talk about only acts no but sir uh, do you have the yes yes sir give something for your partner he will come and now he must have uh give us that last submission that it was within the limits of that police station because it came within that jurisdiction so he had a misuse of authority 
which he could have used in the present case. Correct. Uh, your, your Lord, sir, the counsel rests his argument and would like to further call the co-counsel on the bill. Thank you. The council seeks permission to further the arguments. The council would be dealing with third issue with state.
states that the accused was having if the accused was having knowledge personal knowledge of the victim or his family which can be proved that they were well aware of the, of the facts of both the parties and were together for 15 years the court shall presume that the accused was aware of the caste of the victim so the section simply states that commits an offence under indian penal code imprisonment for 10 years or more against a person knowing that such person is a member of scheduled caste or scheduled tribe here the accused had the knowledge and also the malefied intention from the very inception to deceive the prosecutrix proof that he can be convicted under this section and can be punished for imprisonment with life and fine the current appellant had ill intended to deceive the prosecutrix from the very inception which can be understood through various instances false promise for a fake affidavit and refusal to marry so the accused should be convicted under this section as well as the other sections 3762a of indian penal code under section 90 of the indian penal code and under section 3 clause 2 sub clause 5 of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe prevention of atrocities act The conviction should be maintained. Conviction should be maintained. Sure. Apologies, your lordship. Yes. ट as um, as per section 376 clause 2 subsection a of the indian penal code of 1860 your honors the position has not been used by the accused to dominate her will but they were as as they were good friends the power and the jurisdiction power that was to, uh, to, uh, talked about the uh, counsel of the respondent here accused has not used the power to dominate or have sexual relationship in in behalf of that thus the jurisdiction part doesn't play an important role in the particular section so the accused should not be held liable under the particular section moving to the second part where the both of the counsel of the uh, counsel for the res um, uh, respected members have stated that the uh, said affidavit is fake but according to the customary practice according to hindu marriage act of uh, hindu marriage act as per section 29 clause 2 of the uh, of the particular section which recognizing the customary rights of the dissolution of marriage your honors which stated which was stated in the case of swapnanjali sandeep patel versus sandeep anand patel in the case of 2020 your honors thus uh, moving with the last but uh, your honors uh, the correct uh, the correct jurisdiction to approach the uh, the correct jurisdiction to approach the high court uh, honorable high court is section number 14 of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe act of uh, uh, prevention of atrocities act 1989 your honors which deals about the uh, appeal appeal parts that uh, that states that nothing with sending with contain in the code of criminal procedure of 1973 an appeal shall lie for any judgment sentence or order not being an interlocutory order or a special court of an exclusive special court or high court both on facts and law the jurisdiction the, uh, the uh, judgment has been passed by the trial and the session court of uh, district uh, district uh, just, uh, district court of tarvepura your honors so the correct uh, so the uh, uh, jurisdiction according to which the uh, counsel for the respondent should have approached the honorable supreme court is uh, uh, section number uh, 14 a of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe of uh, uh, prevention of atrocities act 1989 your honors the council would be uh, concluding with the uh, rebuts of the this point your honors much of life your honors it was an honor arguing with the honorable court what 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 you know supreme court and not high court and the honorable on uh, just uh, just correct jurisdiction to appeal on the honorable high court that has been appealed by the, uh, uh, the appeal, approx uh, uh, jurisdiction is 14a of the uh, uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe act of 1989 your honors the current jurisdiction is uh, 14a your honors of scheduled caste uh your honors the jurisdiction that has been put by the counsel of the respondent is section number 374 clause 2 of the uh indian uh, 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 of the criminal procedure code your honors but the judgment has been passed by the special court of the district uh, of the district and the session court of trebepura as clarified by the technical team uh, mr mr counsel Indeed. in the beginning <coughs> beginning itself 
counsel said that this is an appeal under section 14a indeed your honors so but the what, is, what is wrong in that uh, counsel for the respondent has approached the uh, approach under the jurisdiction of section 374 clause 2 of the criminal procedure code uh, your honors the counsel just want to draw no, your no, attention no, no. there is no question of uh, they approaching the any court indeed your honors they, they they are defending your appeal indeed your honors but the counsel just want to draw your attention regarding the jurisdiction part that the state no, no, this issue was not at all raised uh, in uh, the i don't know how how the counsel seeks apologies i don't know how you have uh, raised this but there is no dispute it is your case that is an appeal under 14a uh, indeed your honors but uh, 14a because section 14 uh, 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 one charge under atrocities act was indeed your honors uh, labeled against him Yeah. But indeed, sir, it was mentioned. Uh, it was mentioned that uh, it was mentioned. Um, it was mentioned in the memorial of uh, memorial of the respondent side that the uh, that the jurisdiction was section three seventy four clause two of the CRPC. That's why the counsel for the appeal. What does, difference it makes? Uh, the correct jurisdiction. Even if uh, the appeal is filed under the, the that three seventy four, it would come to the high court. Uh, indeed, your honours, but it the, would come to the high court. Even if it is under Section 14A, it would come to the High Court because the major offence is 376. Indeed, Your Honours. Is the tribal by Sessions Court. Indeed, Your Honours. Convicted by the Sessions Court. In any case, the appeal would lie to the High Court. Indeed, Your Honours. Uh, the counsel was just drawing the attention of Your Honours. No, no. It, this this was not uh, the point raised at all. The counsel. You should have rebutted on certain other aspects. Indeed, Your Honours. You have missed the opportunity. Uh, the counsel seeks apologies for the rebuttal at last, but we have just two rebuttals for the counsel. No, it was not their contention. This is this is I don't know how how you have made this submission. The counsel seeks some more apology or something. No, no, no question of apology. But you have to justify what you submit. Yeah, indeed, your honour. So you must support it. Uh, we just support mm-hmm. that uh, according to section 14 here, your honour. It was mentioned in the. If the advocate uh, commits such a mistake, then the 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 man who has been. Uh, The, un- the wrongly convicted his conviction may be maintained certainly not your honor but you want us to maintain the conviction we want the court to maintain the conviction yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? your honor but when it is your case that it was a consensual act indeed, there was a due deliberation before they indulged into the act indeed your honor there was a consensual so your thus should have been on that part of the matter indeed your honor yes look these are the circumstances in my favor indeed your honor the circumstances beyond doubt proves indeed That it was a consensual act. Indeed, your honours. Huh? Instead of addressing the court on that uh, presumption, uh, uh, invocation of one one four a. Indeed, your honours. Uh, you have come to this fourteen. So you have misunderstood that fourteen a as a one one four a. No, no, your honours. As per section fourteen a of schedule, cause and schedule tribe. So you should have. You should have opposed the contention. Indeed, your honours. That the presumption under one one four a is available. So you have no say in the matter. Court has to presume everything against you because this offence would fall under 376 to clause A B C. Indeed, it was the series of section 376 of the Indian Penal Code. Whether this presumption under 114A would attract against your client? Uh, certainly not, Your Honour, because uh, as it is, uh, is. So you were expected to rebut on that. Anyway, thank you. Uh, much obliged, sir.
after this gripping final round, it's time to hear the valuable feedback and insights from our esteemed judges. Their enriching words will undoubtedly enhance the learning experience for our participants. I'd like to request His Lordship Honorable Justice Govind Anandrao Sanap sir to please address the audience. We eagerly anticipate your words. Extremely sorry. Uh, I'd like to request Ma'am Zoshi Farke to please address the audience. Brother Justice Shresh Sanap, available the present guest on the dais and off the dais. <coughs> I'm indeed uh, very happy to be present here amongst you for this uh, valuable session, last session that is final uh, between the two, uh, two contestants in the competition Justa Foza, the National Law Festival. I would like to congratulate first all the uh, teachers and the principal for uh, arranging such a function and wherein uh, the uh, teams from all over India have participated. I have been made to understand the efforts taken by all the students and the teachers to make this festival successful. So again, I will congratulate everybody, including uh, Advocate Brahmai, hmm? because I have I have seen his efforts also uh, for uh, for for taking follow up in uh, in the activities, inviting us and everything. Now nowadays we are we are just uh, in various programs we are invited mood court competition and etc. And we find that mood court is emerged as an indispensable part of the legal education. We have just seen the two teams and uh, the manner in which they fought their case uh, for their clients. Participation in such type of uh, the competitions uh, really gives uh, opportunity uh, to research and sharpen their skills. A simple fact of participating in such activities is more important to win the competition or to lose the competition. Participation itself is the winning of the competition, according to me, what I feel. I'm not going to comment on the independent performance, performance of that team because uh, both the teams have performed very well, like a professional lawyers and professional counsels. So, I would only say that a role of law lawyers is very pivotal role in the in the judicial system. When students belonging to the different background, different culture, different caste, and uh, different atmosphere learn together, they definitely cross the barrier of all all these uh, societal barriers. So uh, they are learning from this process. So I'm uh, very much thank thankful to the organizer to uh, because they have arranged such type of uh, festival here and uh, gave an opportunity to all the participants to participate and put their skills before uh, all the invitees and all the guests. So I will congratulate to both the both the teams also and the other teams also who have participated in this uh, function and this competition. We know in present days students pursuing their law studies have unprecedented cases access to research material because in our times we have to search the digest and all these things nowadays on a button click they can they can research every aspect of the case and every uh, legal point or every every law point since decision of the apex court and decisions of the high courts and foreign courts as well as uh, easily available research uh, to them so I would only urge to the all the participants to make the best use of uh, the said resources. Needless to say that this college is at the forefront of these efforts, and we we are seeing these efforts in the uh, when the students are participating, and uh, so much students are present here to listen uh, the arguments of the uh, teams also. With these words, with these words, I would like to thank all of you for inviting and patiently hearing me. 
my best wishes to all the participants and organizers and thank you for inviting me and uh, be, uh, i became a part of this uh, function today thank you thanks a lot and uh, lastly i would thank my brother also because he has uh, a given precedence to me to uh, to first communicate with you so thank you big thank you to him also no no <laughs> i already explained that uh, we ladies don't want the precedence in this manner that ladies first right Honorable Justice Sanab sir, would you please like to add some words? Uh, my esteemed uh, uh, sister, Palkia Joshi, a principal, Dr. Mo, advocate, uh, Mr. Brahmi. the faculty members the coordinators of the this mood court which uh, has been wonderfully organized all the organizers deserve a round of applause <clears throat> when uh, two judges for the second uh, Jay is asked to speak. He has to simply say, "I agree and sign." So, madam, I agree what you have said. Uh, uh, I express my sincere gratitude to the the organizers for giving me an opportunity to share good time with you all. Thank you very much. Uh, Artie's congratulations, all participants, including the finalists. <coughs> uh, I believe that the, all these are, are the law students. I must uh, uh, congratulate uh, all the law students for being the part of such august institution. you have seen how easy or how difficult the life of an advocate is as well as the life of a judge is we get inspiration about this profession court and all that after watching the movies so there is a difference between the actual court and that movie for inspiration that is good so keep it there only if you want to to foresee the difficulties the problems and challenges as an advocate you please keep this simple final round of a mood court competition in mind you after becoming a lawyer would be a part of a noble profession you enter the profession with the nobility maintain the the nobility of the profession i must uh, tell all the the law students the future lawyers that uh, in this profession there is no substitute for hard work if you miss while preparing your case either as an advocate or as a judge you are inviting a trouble as an advocate you would be inviting trouble you are inviting trouble for your client if we lack somewhere then we are inviting a trouble by penning down a, a wrong judgment you people are fortunate as said by my sister that everything is at a click of a button you are fortunate but uh, i can't say that 
in that way we were unfortunate rather i would say that you were we were more fortunate than you are because today for doing this research you don't read the, the commentary you just see you the command by putting the word and entire material comes on your screen if you are not prepared to go through the entire material which comes on the screen which is a, is said a research material <clears throat> it is not possible for you to to create your uh, uh, clear your doubts and notions about the law and the subject in our times mr brahma is there for finding out a case law what we were required to do when we search for a case law means a case law to the point applicable to the facts of your case taking care of your submissions we would be required or we were required to read the commentaries from three books sarkar on evidence act mulla on evidence act and so many other books so that way our notions about the law the section would be cleared and it was helpful for us it has been helping us even today so you have this benefit make use of this to to earn name and fame in the profession try to be the extraordinary if your efforts are ordinary i don't think of labeled as an extraordinary if your efforts are ordinary then there is a chance that you may become unique if you become unique then there will be no competition and you would alone be the master of that branch of a law or field so please friends don't uh, adopt shortcuts it is said that uh, the, the shortcut cuts you short so it is up to you and this moot court competition the object of this moot court competition is to project before you your future the challenges you are required to face when you are confronted by the court so please be determined for hard work do sincere hard work and if you do a sincere hard work your notions are bound to be perfect and clear if you approach any matter with uh, the clear and sound notions then you are bound to to, to give uh, anxious moments to your opponents not only to the opponent but to the presiding officer as well so congratulations once again thank you very much uh me and my esteemed sister uh or well by your hospitality you are welcome thank you very much Thank you for gracing us with your profound and enriching insights, Your Lordship and Ladyship. I'm sure it elevated the essence of this occasion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare to draw the curtains on this remarkable event, 